This is the Mercedes Maybach GLS, and it's a little bit like a yacht in the way that it's a very luxurious way to travel, but it could be a bit of a boat. And to find out about that, I'm going to review it by taking it for a drive, being driven in it. I'm going to talk you around the exterior and the interior design and test some of its luxurious features. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. I hurt my knee, I hurt my knee. Ow, gonna stink. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's start off this video by talking about the rear passenger space in this Mercedes Maybach GLS, because really that's what this car is about. I'm gonna be driven by my wonderful chauffeur, Samantha, there in the front. She does a little bit of camera operating and editing in her spare time. Anyway, Samantha, let's go. Let's get to our location so I can experience this luxury limousine that's been jacked up. Basically, you're sitting almost a foot higher from the ground than you would do in the Mercedes Maybach S-Class. So you get a better view out. Oh, she needs a ticket. Right, I've got the ticket. We didn't plan this very well, did we? There you go. Thank you. That's not very good chauffeuring, is it? Bothering your VIP passenger. Anyhow, you get a good view out and there's a good view on the inside as well. Look at this lovely leather everywhere. I mean, it's so sumptuous. Very, very nice. And I've got the car with the first class seating. So as standard, it gets a bench seat, but this is the upgraded option. And it means that, look, I can press this button here and I can control the seat in front of me. Move it out of the way. Go on out of the way, seat. Get out of the way. Go on, be gone. Then I can press this button here and go full reclination. So this is leaning back, my little car rest is extending oh this is lovely and i've got my very soft and squidgy maybach pillow there's another cushion here if i want a bit more lower back support now i can eject my tablet here because obviously i can't reach my infotainment screen up there it's too far away but i can just control things with this what i'm going to do is put my massage seat on I'm gonna go for an activating massage. Yes, there we go, let's, ha let's have that, lovely. I can also do things like mess around with the interior lighting. Oh, no, I don't want it yellow, let's go blue. Blue's better, yes, let's have it very bright. I can actually use this tablet as a remote control to control the main driver's infotainment system so I can actually put destinations into the sat nav so I don't even have to talk to Samantha to tell her where I want to go. But I'm not that rude. I'd rather give direct orders. So loads and loads of cool features in this car. Look, back here, we have a fridge. And in this fridge, there is room, oh my gosh. Um, when you're a chauffeur, Samantha, you're supposed to accelerate smoothly, okay? Not just plant it. I know you, you like to have fun in a high performance car, but this is all about waftiness. Sorry. Um, terrible, you can't get the staff these days. I've only got water. Mercedes doesn't trust me with champagne. Apparently there's room for, whoa. <laughs> You're a rubbish so far. <laughs> there's room, there's room for three bottles of champagne so you can get really pissed in the back of this. Not with Sam driving, because you're most likely going to be sick then, because she goes around corners too quickly. Now, these little cutouts here are for some champagne flutes, silver plated champagne flutes, which Mercedes clearly didn't trust me with, because I'd obviously put them on eBay. If you have got the champagne flutes, you can store them here when you're in between sips. There's little grippers so that when you put your champagne flute in there, it grips it so it doesn't topple over. Also, you've got some cup holders here, which you can cool and you can heat. So if you've got coffee or a cold drink, you can keep it at the temperature you want. Now, if you're wondering what this weird appendage is here, it's for your mobile phone and it even fits my big Samsung Galaxy Fold. Hashtag no ad. And if you don't want to use your phone, you can get a little handset which goes in there so you can use that, which connects to your normal phone by Bluetooth. But once again, Mercedes have not trusted me with it. What's wrong with you, Mercedes? Not a thief, you know. Oh, I have left these in here, though. The noise cancelling headphones, which I can use to just shut out the noise, which there actually is hardly any noise really in here, even though Samantha's driving quite quickly. And then watch a film on the infotainment system there. Though I think I might have to just like, alter the angle of it like that. That you have to do that manually or using your foot. And then I can go onto here again and use my tablet to close all the blinds. Blinds, oh yeah. So I can just chill and wait till we get to our location. And then when we do, I think I'm gonna sack Sam, the chauffeur, because she's pretty rubbish at it and she'll have to just spend the rest of her time filming me, this video. 
yes, um, you're supposed to stay in lane. <laughs> That's what that beeping is. It's warning her about how bad her driving is. You're fired! Not yet. We need to get to our destination first. But then you're fired! When you're being chauffeured about in your luxurious GLS, you want people on the outside to recognise it as being a cut above a normal Mercedes vehicle. And that's why the Maybach has some styling upgrades, such as the prominent Maybach grille with the vertical slats in it. You've got Maybach written in it as well. The lower bumper has this chrome honeycomb effect, though the chrome is all plastic. Actually, that's plastic too, and this is plastic. But it's shiny, shiny, and shiny, shiny is very good. Shiny means expensive, obviously. Here at the side, the thing that really sets this apart as the Maybach version of the GLS is the optional two-tone paintwork. So you better tick that option box if you're buying this car. Another thing that makes it stand out, the unique Maybach wheels. 23 inches and the spokes mimic the veins on the grille. Another feature, of course, is more chromage. Look all around the windows, very nice. And of course, the running boards. Oh, stay on. Nope. <laughs> here at the back, you've got plenty of Maybach badges. So there's one just here on this rear three quarter, Maybach written there and GLS 600 because you can't get 600 on the normal Mercedes GLS, it has to be a Maybach. Then you've got more chrome here, more chrome here, even around the extensions for the exhaust pipes, which are an exaggeration because the real pipes are a bit smaller and hidden inside. And then more chrome here. All this chrome does cost money though. This car starts from £165,000. Now, if you're thinking about buying one of these or any car for that matter, you still want to make sure that you're paying a fair price. And to do that, you should go to Carwow. Also, you can sell your car through Carwow to make sure you're getting a fair price for the car you're trying to sell. So click on the pop out banner up there to go to Carwow or follow the link in the description. Alternatively, simply Google help me car wow and you can go there at a later date, dead easy. Here in the front, the general design is the same as a normal GLS, but it's been given Maybach levels of luxury. So you've got extensive leather, it's two-tone here. You've got leatherette up on the dash with white stitching. Also, you've got this pinstripe wood, which is a classic Maybach feature. A lovely part leather, part wood steering wheel. Some sumptuous seats, and yeah, once again, the leather's super soft on them. In fact, the leather extends all the way down to the door bins and even inside the door bin, which is lovely. You've got some Maybach-specific graphics on the infotainment system. You've got some Maybach pedals, thicker carpets. You've got the Maybach logo there, where you rest your hand to operate the touchpad. And a standard, you get a Burmester sound system with 27 speakers and 1600 watts of power. Well, that's posh. Though, overall, this interior doesn't feel as posh as that in a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. You can watch my full in-depth video review of that car. Now let's talk about the boot. So the capacity is 455 litres, though not if you have the fridge fitted. You have to excuse the rubbish in here. We're actually just using it to illustrate what you can fit into this boot. Now, if you need to carry bigger items, you probably want to fold down the rear seats, like you can in a Bentley Bentayga. In fact, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below, you can watch my full in-depth video review of that car. However, you can't fold down the rear seats on this Maybach GLS. It's sort of like a saloon only. And that brings me on to five annoying things about this car. I just parked my Maybach GLS and I'm a little bit disappointed that my three-pointed star isn't pointing the right way up. I wish they did that thing that Rolls Royces do where the center cap always remain vertical so the logo is always as it should be. If you like your privacy, you might be a little bit disappointed to find out that while you have sun blinds on pretty much all windows, there's not one here at the back so people can still pry in from the rear. Though if you're into dogging, you might quite like that. Because of all the extra luxurious nuss nuss, <laughs> this Maybach version of the GLS is the heaviest. It comes in at almost 2.8 tonnes, which means it's 150 kilos heavier than the more powerful AMG 63S version of the GLS. As a result, it does one mile per gallon less. Not really a problem. If you can afford one of these, you can afford the fuel bills. The issue is it means that you can't go quite as far on a full tank of petrol. So you're going to have to stop to fill up a little bit more often, which you don't want to do if you're a VIP. Unlike many other premium SUVs, this Maybach version of the GLS isn't available with rear wheel steering. And it's a bit of a pain that is because it's one long ass car. As a result, your chauffeur may have problems maneuvering it in tight spaces and could well curb these lovely alloy wheels. And then you'll have to sack them. And then they won't be able to afford to feed their family. And then they all might die. <laughs> <laughs> While the Maybach version of the S-Class has a V12, this GLS only has V8. 12 is better than eight by four, and that matters when you're really, really rich. You need the extra four. Thankfully, this car has plenty of cool features to help make up for all this. Here's five. 
when you're driving along a bumpy road, the actual suspension can harvest the energy of the up and down motion and feed it back into the mild hybrid system. This car has a special Maybach driving mode which the driver can deploy when they're carrying a very important person in the back. What that does is flatten the acceleration curve so you take off smooth. It even starts off in second gear so it's not jerky. It will cut the stop-start system so the engine is not constantly going off and on and it reduces the number of gear changes just so you can relax. When you go to get into the Maybach GLS, you can set it to automatically drop down on its air suspension so you don't have to step up so much. You don't really need to do that because when you open the door, these running boards extend so you can easily just walk in. How luxurious is that? This Maybach GLS comes with air suspension as standard with adaptive dampers and it's been set up to be softer than the system you can get in a normal GLS. Also, you can get it with a camera that can read the road ahead and it will spot bumps and slacken off the suspension even more before you come to the bump so you just glide over it. Also, the air suspension will automatically lower when you're going faster on the motorway to reduce drag and if you want to go off-road with the press of a button, you can raise it up to give you maximum ground clearance. Speaking of which, you can get a system which allows the car to jump up and down on its suspension rock from side to side if it gets stuck to help free it. Finally, you can also get a curve function which causes the car to lean into the bends. A very thick load cover and an extra bulkhead between the boot and the passenger compartment prevents noise from entering the cabin. In fact, this thing is so quiet at high speed, you wouldn't believe it. I actually was a passenger in this car at 250 kilometers an hour on the Autobahn and it was whisper quiet and super comfy. We're in the back of a Mercedes Maybach GLS on the Autobahn. It is de-restricted. We're seeing how quickly we go, 180, 190 kilometers an hour and climbing. This is awesome fun. Oh, what a way to travel. We've got the massage seats on. Yeah, we keep on going. What are we doing now? 244, 45. Look at that dial. Now, if you want to find out more about that, then go follow me on Instagram because I filmed it for my Instagram account, Matt Watson Car, so go check that out. The Maybach GLS is powered by a four litre twin turbo V8 with mild hybrid technology. So it's got a little motor that adds an extra 22 horsepower when you suddenly need to overtake someone. Combined, it puts out 558 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque, and that drives all four wheels by a nine speed automatic gearbox. Okay, let's see what this Maybach GLS is like to drive. So I'm gonna start off in town. Here we're coming to a very nice little German town with a speed hump. And I didn't feel it very much at all, even though I'm riding on 23 inch alloy wheels. Oh, this is quaint. Oh, look at this. I'm not really sure where I'm going. And this car is quite wide. I'll tell you what, going over these bumps and potholes, the air suspension is doing a great job of just dealing with everything, just as it should be. Also, the steering is nice and light, making my life very, very easy. Yeah, so the cars must wait for me because I'm in a Maybach. Thank you very much, Danke schön. You liked it, gave it a smile. This car has auto emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, so I don't have to worry about accidentally running over the children. Here's an opportunity to check out the handling of the Maybach GLS. <laughs> it's a roundabout. This is not extensive car testing, is it really, people? Let's head out to some faster roads. That was effortless round there. Here's a better opportunity to check out the handling. I'm going to just whack it into dynamic mode, go a bit sportier. Stays relatively flat. That's the active anti-roll system. Doing its job, keeping the car nice and flat in the bends. Now let's see if this V8 can do a job of making the car accelerate when you need it to. So foot to the floor. Oh yeah, it picks up nicely this engine. And the car goes from being super quiet to actually pretty noisy, <laughs> but in a good noisy way. Okay, let's try it around this bend. Ooh. Yeah, it grips pretty well. Okay, I'm back in town and I've got the augmented reality sat nav helping me out. So it's showing me exactly which direction and turning I need to take. So I can't make a wrong turn, even if I'm a total idiot. Wait a minute. Look, there it is, it's saying, go this way. It's really helpful. So too is the V8. <laughs> De-restricted, let's max it out. How quick can we go? Oh, 
166 before I've got to get off for the junction. Oh my gosh, the brakes are good in this. So this thing, it has the tech, it has the luxury, it has the comfort, it has the performance, and thankfully, it also has the brakes. So then what's my final verdict on the Mercedes Maybach GLS? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, do you know what? If you want to be chauffeured around in utmost luxury in a race driving position, you should shortlist the Maybach GLS. Oh look, it's gonna unlock itself. Wonderful. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on those windows there for more videos or on that box there to go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on a new car or to get a fair price on the car you're trying to sell.